ritual to media ritual. And I also want to explain the reason why mourning is a good case study to think about what's the distinction between ritual, social rituals and media rituals. So what we have here before you is a still that was made from a film that was released in 1919 by the French director Abel Gantz and the film was called Jacuzzi. And Jacuzzi called caused something of a stir in post Great War France for the following following reasons. Um, and there's kind of a, a spooky story behind this movie. So Gans began making Jacuzzi in 1917. And what Jacuzzi is about is about a French, show, French soldier uh, from the Great War who uh, returns to his hometown and is haunted by the memory of the, his many colleagues who died on the battlefield and couldn't be returning home. And there's a famous scene in Jacuz, um, which features dead soldiers rising from their falling places on the battlefield and returning back to their hometowns in France. And that's the image that you see in front of you, a picture from that, uh, a, 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 a still from that particular scene in which the dead rise from the grave and, and return home. And when uh, Apple Gantz made this movie in 1917, he used thousands and thousands of uh, French soldiers as extras. And these soldiers were men who'd been wounded in the battlefield and were recuperating in hospital. So can you imagine how, how unsettling it must have been to watch this movie on its release in 1919? and realize that many of the soldiers who you were watching um, playing the dead, playing ghosts, really were dead by 1919. Many of the soldiers who served as extras on Jakku's recovered from their wounds as best as they could and were sent back to the front where many of them were killed. So you're sat in a cinema somewhere in France in 1919 and you're watching a dead person playing a dead person on the screen. Not something that we would find to, you know, the idea of watching, um, watching um, people who passed away on film um, is, is unsettling um, in some cultures, but I suppose not something that we are too unaccustomed to many, many people from different traditions. Um, but in 1919, it must have been very, very strange to think that the person who'd made that movie just a, um, a couple of years before had now passed away, but more so they had played a role that kind of predicted their own future. Something very macabre about all of that. And that was all the more so since the question of the dead and what to do with dead bodies and specifically the question of whether fallen French soldiers should be left um, where they lay on the battlefield or should be brought home to be buried was a pointed political question in uh, France in 1919. So what we have here is the idea that one of the problems in one of the great um, political problems in France in 1919 was what to do about the dead. And that was because traditional mourning rituals had been disrupted. French society, as with most societies, if you think about most societies around the world, we have a set of rituals that we engage in around death that involve care of the body. Many of these involve taking possession of the body, preparing the body for its journey into the afterworld in a particular way, and so on and so forth. And you can't do any of that when you don't have a body. And that was a dilemma that faced millions of French families in the wake of the Second World War. How do you mourn the passing of a loved one when you don't have their body? 
um, and you cannot therefore engage in the conventional mourning rituals that trans that mark the transition from life to death. And the interesting thing is that this became a pointed political problem because what soon transpired was that this was not a uh, this was not a problem that was shared equally across class divides. Richer families could pay people to go and get the bodies of uh, their loved ones and bring them home. And so the question of the disruption of mourning rituals became a real political problem in, in post, post-Great War France. And very quickly, Jacques became uh, notorious because it was a symbolic uh, media um, phenomenon that really raised those political questions to a to a head. So already we see uh, uh, something which uh, can be used to make sense of social media's role in mourning because we have media intervening to fill a symbolic gap caused by the disruption of rituals around death. Now, in all of this, I'm drawing on um, the work of the great, great, great war historian, uh, Jay Winter. And uh, in Sites of Memory and Sites of Mourning, Winter, who's been writing extensively about the Great War um, for about, goodness, about half a century now, almost, I guess. Um, and um, more, and, 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 uh, Winter's, I suppose, general point is that the Great War is a great cultural watershed. It is something which raises all kinds of very, very deep questions about the nature of civilization and humanity that the world has never really recovered from. Um, that, um, that the Great War is a kind of collective trauma that raises... Um, a, a set of distinct existential questions for humanity and society that are played out in symbolic form. And what Winter, the point that, that, that Winter made was that, um, that very often we begin to see in, 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 in after the Great War and really throughout the 20th century, we see a series of different symbolic efforts um, which try and Pro, manufacture, process the meaning of the Great War. Um, and that in many respects, what we see is that um, what the trauma of the Great War represents is the importance of symbolic rituals in processing existential crises. <clears throat> so we can very much use this as a kind of as a as a way of uh, thinking about the relationship between social media mourning and the impact of social media and the greater existential questions that pervade our culture. So um, the point is that mourning is one of the great rituals, one of the great kind of activities, symbolic activities that we have used historically to manufacture to make sense of the space between life and death you know the great question of humanity that this becomes incredibly politicized in the 20th century particularly around events such as the great war so we have this sense that rituals symbolic rituals become heavily politicized that there is a great struggle for over the meaning of uh, of existential events that take place on a symbolic level and that media influence rests on the symbolic importance of processing life's events. And so this is the way in which we can speak about death as being a symbolic ritual. And this is the basis upon which we can begin to talk about how social media affect society by taking the established symbolic uh, rituals that exist in our society and leading them into particular directions. Mm -hmm.